Hi, this is Computer Geek 1976, and this is what you're going to want to install right after you jailbreak, like the first thing. Okay, uh, this is right. I made this. I'm making this right after the jailbreak video. Okay, I open Cydia one time just to let it reorganize. The first time you open it, it's gonna ask. It's gonna like reorganize, then it's gonna refresh. Haven't opened it since. So, first time you open Cydia, it'll have like a reorganizing, and then once it's done. Okay, so once you open it the second time, this is what it'll look like. Um, it depends. Are you a hacker, a developer? Or a graphical user only. I'm just gonna do developer, so you can get everything. Just hit that. Okay. Now the first time you're gonna have to let all of this go through, but the next, all the other times you don't. Otherwise, it'll be empty. You'll be like, what? It's broken. Now see, it says upgrading to 2.2. You just jailbroke to 2.2, so it's like kind of stupid, and that's because you have a 2.1 version of Cydia, and it'll ask you to upgrade in a second. Right now, now you're gonna hit upgrade. This is this is how you're gonna get storage, the storage thing. Okay, so now you're gonna have to restart Cydia again once this is done. I don't know, this is getting it's like annoying. All this restarting. Yeah, I see. Close Cydia. I know it's getting annoying, but you still have to. Okay, now go back in. It's not a respring; it's just a close city. Open it again, kind of thing. Okay. You don't have to let. You can cancel it this time. Oh, it doesn't do it. Okay. Then you can gonna go to next. First thing you don't have to want to install is power. So. Is called Power Tool. I'm actually having this sideways because the plug isn't very long, so. Power Tool, right there. Install, confirm. Okay, this shouldn't take like a super long time. Okay, so there, now you're going to go back, and you're going to want to install, oh, whoops, if you don't have it, make sure you have community sources installed, so, Okay, whatever. Never mind. But, okay, that's something you're definitely going to want to install because, here, I'll show you what that is. That is this awesome icon. It is a hard respring, soft, uh, soft respring, a reboot, or power down. Now, that's really, really useful. Okay? The next thing is called boss breaths probably heard of that. Boss Prefs is like a settings, a more advanced setting manager, settings manager. And then just gonna do boss P and then hit search and be the that right. And it install confirm. And then once this is done, you're gonna install boss tool. Boss, press, boss, 
bus tool right there. Bus tool. Install. Confirm. Okay. Now, the cool thing about Boss Tool is this is going to give you like another 500 megabytes of space. Not 500. I think it's like 100 or something. It's still a lot. So that's like it's like 50 apps right there. Okay, you're going to go over to where you have the Boss Tool. Go into Boss Tool. If you're on the iPhone, do this to all three things. But since you're on the iPod, only you can you can only relocate fonts. So reclick fonts, hit do it. Now nothing's gonna select. Do not touch it once you hit that. And now just wait until the ro relocate fonts things has changed to fonts already relocated or fonts already moved. Okay, this moves the fonts folders to a second partition. Okay, this, the iPhone and iPod Touch is made into two partitions. One is um for the iPhone OS and a couple of things that Cydia adds. Now a couple of now then there's the other one that one's like one gig or yeah and then there's your rest of it is for music and apps and stuff so it moves the fonts folder off the big one to the small one so you have like eight um 150 more megabytes or something so I've yeah so it's pretty cool oh okay now we have 142 instead of 56, which is way better. Okay, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Um, check out my other raids, please. Bye. Um, wait, I have an update, and it's getting five rows of icons instead of four, and getting an SSH too. Okay, thanks for watching.